K. I'm D. And we're H. D. N. H. D. H. D. N. H. D. Yeah. So, crazy tour stories. Uh, well, just today. Yeah! So, we pulled up outside of the venue, and Kendall's sitting passenger seat, and so I go walking around him, and I look at him, and I go, hey, I'm going to go into that sunglass place right here. Contacts and specs. Contacts and specs. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Contacts and specs. There's a plug. So I go in, I'm checking out these, uh, these frames and everything, and I turn around, and the bus is just gone. So I call Kendall to no answer, and then I call Vic, our security guard, and I go, hey, uh, Vic, where are you guys at? And he goes, <laughs> what are you talking about, man? And I said, where are you? The bus is gone. And he goes, what are you talking about? I thought you were on the bus. I said, no. And he goes, oh my god, I gotta find you. Okay, you go down, you, you go down here like five blocks and you make a right and then we're on the left hand side. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I walked for almost a mile and a half to try and find this damn bus. Come to find out it's around the corner, maybe two blocks from where we it's were. Just around the corner. So yeah, um, my own band left me in Pretty the cold. Crazy. In the cold. I th I'm glad you weren't in your onesie though. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was serious about being in my onesie earlier, and I almost didn't change into regular clothes. So I'm that glad would be I did. Embarrassing. <laughs> uh, another crazy tour story. Uh, recently, the bus, un unbeknownst to us, because we were sleeping, almost caught on fire because the generator plug, I guess, had old wires, and the bus driver smelled burning when he was driving and pulled over and sure enough when he opened up the bay the it was on the actual cord was on fire which apparently when buses go up in flames they go up in like minutes it's not like you know it takes an hour or so it's like they'll go up fast especially with full fuel tanks and stuff like that so it could have been very dangerous and the next day he was like you guys didn't smell anything i was like no we're sleeping man so, and plus the bunk area is so full of dude that there's an overwhelming smell of just dude <laughs> There. Good thing about that though is that I sleep on the opposite side of the bus from the generator, so if it was to catch on fire, I would have had a better chance you would of getting just burn out last. Yeah. <laughs> Another crazy tour story: chickens in Tampa. Oh yeah, um, we played a venue in Tampa, and there were just wild chickens running around the parking lot. I Which don't know why. Leads me into the story of cooking on the bus. Yes, nice segue. One of those chickens. Oh. Yeah, I didn't tell you guys. No, just kidding. It was not one of those chickens. Uh, that particular show was on Thanksgiving, and um, I can't not cook a turkey on Thanksgiving. It doesn't feel right. And at home, the last few years, I've been doing it. So we went to Walmart the day before and got um, this turkey oven that was just a turn dial, and it was on. And so I put foil down, and we rinsed the turkey in the sink and pulled out all the innards and stuff. and like dressed it, I stuffed it with butter and garlic and all that stuff and salt and pepper and spices on top, all right there in the in like the sink, which is not very much at all. And I think the turkey was almost bigger than the actual I sink. I think it was. It was 19, 19 pounds? And 19 pounds. And so, put the turkey in the thing, turn it on, it took a while to cook, but it definitely cooked, and then towards the end we dumped a whole bunch of vegetables in and let it just naturally kind of, and it was honestly Probably one of, at least one of my favorite turkeys I've ever had. Yeah, probably the best turkey I've ever had, no lie. That was, nice. it was so good. On a bus. I'm on, on a, a bus. bus! So, uh, cooking a turkey on a bus, I think, is pretty magnificent, and I think that's a pretty crazy tour story. Never heard of anybody cooking a turkey on a bus before. Maybe you guys can join us next time we cook on the bus.